I'm here with Greg Kasabin with Bastion, he's a creative director, and we are looking at, this is the first prototype of yeah, the game? that's right. The, what, what, I, what I firmly believe must be uh, the ugliest game in all of PAX East. <laughs> it is, uh, wow, like so, this, the idea here was just to show, I guess, the way this game would work? Yeah, we, um, you know, we, it, it was sort of a half, uh, half joking idea of like, we don't have anything new to show, so we figured we'd show something very old, but we, we figured most of the folks like coming to see us at the show are going to be uh, familiar with Bastion or uh, will be, you know, hopefully fans of the game, and, and that they might get a kick out of seeing its, its sort of very crude and humble uh, origins, because we, we try to be sort of very transparent about the game's development all through the process to sh show how it was made, because we're we find the process of making games like really fascinating, uh, and and feel like it's not it's not shown um, uh, it's it's really not shown often enough, um, like in all its kind of gory detail. So we wanted people to just kind of get their hands on this and see what it was like, because uh, because some of it is like really embarrassing and ridiculous, but then other aspects of it are, are actually pretty close to what we uh, ended up with in the finished game. Like, our character already has this hammer that he's swinging around and he can do this evasive roll and he's got, you know, he's got weapons that are, are pretty similar to what we ended up with. But, right, right. you know, this is way before, this is only four weeks um, into the development of the game. So we were just, and we had come from making real-time strategy games, um, you know, at Electronic Arts. So just having like a character running around in a world swinging weapons was like relatively new. Uh, so we were just trying to get those basic mechanics working at, at this at this point. Now, what is what would you is this something you would have shown uh, a publisher, or what would you have oh, done no, with this? No, we never would have. <laughs> we we actually never um, we never really pitched the game. We never wanted to pitch the game because uh, uh, Bastion was self-funded. Um, we, we did uh, we did have a, a publisher in Warner Brothers, uh, but but uh, we we didn't show anyone the game until we were ready to like let people play it. So this was just uh, internal, just an internal build that um, that the guys you know maybe sent to their close friends and stuff like that. But um, I don't think in our wildest fantasies did we imagine ever bringing this you know to PAX one day. It's kind of absurd for us. Uh, and you said four weeks old. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what was like the the next significant change you made uh, um, after this? At this at this point, so so the narration um, the, there's no like narration in the game at this point, but it happened not too long after this, like a couple of months later, um, and the whole structure of the game started to evolve. Like there's no like story or anything like that here, um, so it it started to like kind of build out um, and become like a hub-based world with like a central location that you can come back to um, and build structures in and so on. So those were like the big next next changes after this, um, where like the, the sort of the, the meta game uh, and the story started to take some kind of shape. Um, and then, you know, it, it, we, we got an artist uh, on the project, uh, Gen Z, our art director, and, and she, uh, you know, classed uh, the whole thing up quite a bit. Was she... Uh repulsed by this when she saw it? Uh, I don't even know that there there was like an interim stage where the game looked okay um, before she joined. I don't know that she saw this specifically until much later and yes, I believe she was thoroughly repulsed. What I, like, I love the enemies, how like, that's so great looking. They're all stolen from uh, Dungeons and Dragons books, <laughs> so they're just scanned, you know, scanned art. Yeah, like, uh, you know, we knew we were never going to ship any of these assets or show them really. Right, right. right. <laughs> So it's just kind of having fun with it, having like rep representational types of characters. There's all this blood in there, so the whole like whatever you can even, you know, not that this it has any kind of like style to it, but it seems like it, it would be like a much more violent game, like looking at these enemies and stuff. Right, right, right. Um, so what, uh, real quickly, since I have you like, yeah. uh, Bastion, super successful. Like, do you have any updates on anything going on with you guys? Uh, as, as far as what's that? Well, we um, nothing, nothing goes super specific. I'm, I'm afraid we're we're definitely sticking together as a team and and intend to make more games. Um, but you know, it, it, it's a process that does take us a while because we do, you know, as with Bastion, we didn't show we didn't show that game for like 
um, until about a year into development, but when, when we were confident in being able to just hand over the c controls to somebody and letting them, and letting the game essentially speak for itself, um, and quite literally, I guess, in Bastion's case. So, um, we, uh, that, that may well be what we end up doing with whatever we come up with next, where we'll just kind of let it percolate for a while. Because we, we have lots of ideas and just want to let them uh, stew and see, much like with how we made this, you know, see what sticks and what, what doesn't stick until it kind of forms into something cohesive. But that's, that's kind of our general process, and we're, we're just really early in that, in that right now, since we've been uh, supporting Bastion kind of keeping busy with a bunch of different things since the game came out. Gotcha. Okay, well, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. Take, take thank care. You, thank you. Thank you for stopping by.